All these salmonids are annoying, but if you had to choose which one to splat first, which would it be? In most situations, the answer is simple. Just get whichever one is closest to the basket. Or maybe the one that's trying to pick a fight with you. How dare. But now fam, this ranking is based on logic. This ranking is based on reason. This ranking is based on my own personal opinion. So if you disagree, you can share your ranking and reasons in the comments below. Oh yeah, and we're going in reverse order. But before we jump into sorting all the salmonids, I have a special announcement for you. This video is sponsored by Amino. You've probably already heard of this cool app, but today's promotion is unlike the others. Amino is launching a brand new feature called Stories, which follows a similar format to the stories on other platforms, except these ones don't go away. This means that people will put a lot more effort into making them. In addition to sponsoring today's video, they've also sponsored my stories on the app. Today I've launched the first episode of my Amino Story exclusive mini-series called Boss Salmonid and You, where I'll be sharing all you need to know about these bosses, including their attack patterns, all the ways to defeat them, and how much time you have to react to their attacks. I'm very excited to share these stories with you and I hope you check them out. Link is in the description. Also, make sure to follow me on Amino, it's the one with my inkling as the profile picture, so you won't miss out on the rest of the series. Now back to the video. Number 8. The Goldie The Goldie only shows up as a normal boss during fog waves and it can drop 1, 5 or 10 eggs. You shouldn't splat this boss until it gets right next to the egg basket because... Anyways, they don't pose much of a threat. They have zero defenses and they inspired a series of theory videos which you should check out if you haven't already. Number 7. The Scrapper These bumper car boys can get annoying. But you can just tap shot them and they stop. Bop. Stop. Easy. You can lure them to your basket and since they come with a pause button, they're pretty easy to deal with, even in large numbers. Heck, you can even recreate that one scene from Jurassic World if you wanted to. Number 6. The Maw I've listed the Maw as one of the weakest boss salmonids in the past, but I would prioritize splatting this one over the scrapper since they don't have a pause button. Most maw give you about 3 seconds between each of their attacks and unlike scrappers you can't escape by climbing up a wall. To learn more about the maws, check out my amino story on them, link in the description. Number 5. Steel Eel You might have noticed that I've put all the close range bosses on the low priority list. The eel is no different. You can outrun it, escape it by scaling walls, and it got pretty low HP. The only reason it beats out the other three is because it can literally block the way and scary looking enough to make it in the thumbnail. Number 4. The Drizzler It's Mary Poppins y'all, but less British and more annoying. Flying around, shooting rain at people and unlike the Maws, no one bothers to splatter the right way, cause you need a friggin' geometry degree to hit it with its own torpedo. Ain't nobody got time for that. When two of these Brella boys show up, it gets even worse. You see, one Inkstorm can't splat you, it's just annoying, but two? All of a sudden you're playing x rank splat zones, no thank you. Number 3. The Stinger these things are easy to splat, but for some reason your teammates won't bother because it's inconvenient for them to go over to the shore. So instead you gotta go all the way across the map to take care of it yourself. It's more annoying than the drizzler because it's far away. Number 2. The Flyfish Most of y'all will likely put this in your number 1 spot. They fire off a bunch of missiles, some at you, some at your teammates, so you can't stand still. But this is Salmon Run, you're supposed to hustle. To splat them you just gotta toss a splat bomb in one of their lawn. You just nope. gotta toss a you, you just gotta toss a splat bomb in one of their launchers and it goes boom. Easy peasy. Got a teammate? Even better. You get one side, they get the other. But nope. This boss makes that weird sidewalk situation where you go one way so you don't run into someone but they also end up going the same way. Except instead of awkwardly laughing it off and maybe getting a date out of it, your team gets wiped and you lose 20 points. I've never gotten a date out of these situations, but there's all kind of players out there. Number one, the steelhead. You might be asking, Vasco, why would you splat this before Flyfish? The answer is simple, these things go boom. I like how the Rainmaker will blow up if someone holds it for too long, except it never does because no one ever guards the Rainmaker, but that's beside the point. Steelheads can get pretty annoying. Their bombs can block the way and sometimes just come out of nowhere. But if you manage to splat one of them, everything around them goes boom. Which of these bosses would you consider the most annoying and choose to splat first? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you want some more Vasco content, hop on over to Amino to check out today's story on the Maws. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the comments.